supermarkets face intense pressure to increase sales, reduce costs, and importantly, adhere to regulations to phase down the use of refrigerants with high global warming potential, or GWP. In response, grocers are reconsidering their refrigeration options, but there's much more to consider than regulatory compliance alone. The right refrigeration system is critical. Not only does it preserve millions of dollars in perishable food, it also accounts for the majority of the store's energy and maintenance costs. The system should be reliable, energy efficient, cost effective, and easy to maintain. In other words, it should alleviate pressure on supermarkets, not create more of it. And that brings us to CO2, a so-called natural refrigerant that hangs its hat on its low GWP. To be clear, GWP is important, but here's the problem with CO2. It falls short on every other factor that matters to supermarkets. Let's start with installation. For most supermarkets, switching to CO2 is a disruptive and costly endeavor, gutting the existing infrastructure to make way for entirely new equipment. Operationally, CO2-based systems function at high pressures, and as a result, they require a jumble of high-cost components that can withstand those pressures. And these high-pressure systems are not energy efficient, which impacts the environment and the store's bottom line. Did you know that direct emissions from leaks, also called scope one emissions, account for less than half of the system's overall climate impact? In fact, most of the emissions from a refrigeration system, sometimes up to 90%, are indirect scope two emissions from energy use which means the climate benefits from CO2's low GWP are negated by the system's high energy consumption. A moment ago, I mentioned leaks, yet another vulnerability for CO2-based systems. Because they operate at such high pressures, the system leaks refrigerant rapidly any time a leak occurs. If the supermarket is slow to fix a leak, the entire system is at high risk of breakdown. What happens then? Well, unlike traditional systems, CO2-based systems are complex and difficult to repair, which makes finding qualified technicians a real challenge. And consider this too. Stores with CO2-based systems must take precautions to ensure the system can survive a power outage. Many stores with CO2-based systems carry a backup generator and refrigeration unit, or an entire system's worth of refrigerant on site, just in case. Let's reassess. CO2-based systems are not reliable, energy efficient, cost effective, or easy to maintain. They operate at high pressures and they cause undue stress for the grocers burdened with them. The good news is that there are other options for retailers and supermarkets considering a switch to a low GWP refrigerant, such as low GWP HFCs, HFOs, and blends. These solutions deliver the low GWP benefits of CO2 with none of the downsides. Learn more about your options by visiting globalfact.org.